So the responsibility is entirely on you. Okay, so let's talk about something here really quick. And that's the whole idea of relying on others for your success. And the fact of the matter is you alone are responsible for any success in your life. Sure, there's gonna be a lot of people who help you. There's gonna be mentors, coaches, clients who help. There's gonna be just random people who you meet through like networking events or friendships. And these people are gonna contribute to your success, but they're not gonna be the ones who are responsible for it. You alone are the one who's actually 100% responsible for your success and the good news is it's under your control like you're the one who's able to make the decision whether or not you're going to be a successful person or you're not going to be and ideally knowing this you can start to take the right actions every single day to become a successful person and that varies person to person based on what your version of success looks like what kind of job you have what kind of job you want what kind of business you have what kind of business you want what kind of relationships you have everything is pretty much under your control like your decision to become specific about it and the actions you take is 100% your responsibility like you're in control of this so what do you do now well that's that's the thing like right now you have the choice to get deliberate about this and being deliberate usually involves like actually doing the work like the stuff that sucks the stuff that's difficult the stuff that we don't want to do because you know so-and-so on TV has it easy or so-and-so social media is full of cool pictures and they don't seem to work hard. The thing is, if you want any type of lifestyle, you're going to be the one who has to put in the work to make it a reality. And I mean, that might suck to hear, but realistically, like having that knowledge, knowing that you alone are responsible for this is kind of freeing because you can pull out a pen and paper and you can write out exactly what you want and then just reverse engineer it. Like take the end result and then break it down into manageable goals and take daily actions towards achieving those goals. Let's say you want to lose 20 pounds. Well, you know at the top you want to lose 20 pounds. When do you want to lose 20 pounds by? Let's use 90 days. Okay, so let's do 10 pounds every 30 days. Think about how much easier that is to accomplish. Think about that, that's 10 pounds that's what, seven and a half pounds? Eight pounds? Nine pounds? What did I say? I don't even know. Okay, so let's say you want to lose 20 pounds and we're just gonna give you like a 60 day time period. So 20 pounds, 60 days. You know the end result and you know the time frame that you want it to become reality. So if you take the first breakdown is 60 days, so divide that in half and you get 30 days, so that's a month, and you wanted to lose 10 pounds. So what does that actually look like? Well, five pounds a month. That's so much easier to think about achieving rather than like, <sighs> I gotta lose 10 pounds in 14 minutes. Like that's unreal, like that's an unreal expectation. So knowing this, like knowing that you're in control of this is one of the most freeing things because everything can become a reality when you break it down into manageable goals. And then it's just doing the thing every single day, the stuff that you don't wanna do. The things that are hard, like exercising. Exercising sucks, but the fact of the matter is we know it works. We know that eating healthy is better for us than just eating pizza 400 times a day. I mean, sure, I'd rather eat pizza every day and you know, eat chicken wings and do all that, but I know that I do need to put some green stuff in there and put some green stuff on the plates so that you know I feel better. So think about that, and then the next time that you're worried about something, the next time that you're kind of bothered about something, knowing that you're responsible for it, taking the necessary actions towards achieving it is going to make it so much easier to accomplish. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching this. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And thank you. I'll see you in the next video.